Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So I am back. So guys, uh, in this video, I will be showing you a short demo on my app, which I have uh, created. It's called the Maps GPS and Navigation app. All right. So I will provide the link in my description box, and you from there you can uh, download it, and also you can give me reviews about the app. Okay. So let's get started. So guys, first of all, I will request you that if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, so now uh, let me open my app. So I will open the Maps GPS app. Okay, sorry. So whenever the app will be opened, first time. Okay, so now it's requiring me the access to my location. Okay, if the location uh, or the GPS is uh, disabled, so uh, this activity will be opened. That is saying Maps requires access to location. Okay, so when I click on Turn on GPS, so now the turn or the activity with this activity will be open and so now the user when the user click on on button so the exact location of the user will be shown on the map all right so guys uh, from here we there are these are the two buttons okay so we can drag and drop the map here and we are getting the exact location okay and i am in my university okay and when we click on this button uh, so the satellite view will be shown and when we click on this traffic button so it will tell me the traffic okay whether there is traffic jam or not all right so now here this is the app uh, here we have these three buttons satellite map hybrid map and terrain map all right so uh, when we click on where to uh, so now this is the uh, ad that will be shown and from here we can select if we want to go to a specific location we can go from uh, where to we can click on and here we can write for example i write islamabad okay and when i click on islamabad it will show me this okay and it is showing me the uh, the path or the direction polyline okay uh, i use the google maps the direction api all right and here we have two buttons navigate and car animation when i click on navigate so now the google maps built-in app will be open and it will show you the direction okay the second option is the car animation option the user will be able to see the car uh, the route okay so when, when we click on car animation and you as you guys can see we have the car uh, the car animation enabled and start it and here you guys can see the that our car is now moving it will lag a bit but it will be fine if we have this straight okay straight line so let's see oops it's uh, it is having some problem here but it will be fine yes now the car is moving towards its direction and here it will change its direction it will turn left yeah turn left okay so now as you guys can see this is the car animation now it will move right after from here there is the u-turn all right so now when the user will click on stop though so it will be stopped so here we have uh, okay so now again we click on where to and here we have uh, these icons this is for parking this is for uh, uh, nearby restaurants this is for hospitals and it's for more okay so when we click on here so this will be the ad and from here we have many things here okay so uh, all the things will be so from here we can select if we want to go to the or if we want to find uh, nearby a hospital so i will click on hospital and an ad icon will be shown and after that uh, here you guys can see i have the card view and with the recycler view and it's showing me the nearby hospitals and it's also showing me the distance from my current location to that hospital so if i could select any hospital from here another ad is shown and after that it's showing me the direction here 
all right and here we can navigate to the our location and or or we can also write say uh, click on car animation okay so now i will click back and after that we can also select nearby restaurant so i will click on restaurant and from there you guys can see the restaurants nearby restaurants all right similarly you can uh, find all the nearby places okay so if i select um, let's say bank so if i select bank and from there we can go to our nearest bank okay it will provide me with all the banks Mizan bank national bank of pakistan all right so this was the module so the the next feature, feature which I added in my app, first of all, is uh, here you guys can see parking reminder. Okay, so whenever the user will park his uh, his car, so the app will uh, save the location of the car and it will navigate if the user uh, has uh, forgotten the uh, where has he parked the car. Okay, so now I will click on parking reminder and ad, and ad will be shown and after that as you guys can see i already have parked my vehicle so when i click on remove my car okay so now the car will be removed okay so now when we open the car parking uh, reminder again and here you guys can see our current location and after that if we click on park my car okay so now the car is parked here okay so now whenever the user click on uh, well, let's close the app and now when we again open the car reminder app so it the car will be there okay so now what we can do is we, is that the user can select, click on navigate to my car and it he will show the, uh, the the direction will be shown and he can navigate to his car okay so after that uh, the other feature is the street view i have included it in my app so from there if we click on street view so now the automatically the street view will be shown here of your current current location in case if the if the location is not shown or the if the street view is not available in your country since uh, a street view is not available in pakistan okay so now uh, a blank uh, will be blank uh, screen will be shown so now from there you can select any position if i uh, if i say india okay and indiana united states okay so okay there is no place uh, so if i say france so as you guys can see this is the straight view of 360 degree angle all right so the another feature which I have is the shared location feature. Okay, so when whenever the user will be user will click on shared location feature, his location will be shared among his contacts either to you using SMS or WhatsApp or any other thing. Okay, so I will so I will be able to we will be able to share the, the location. The another feature is the car animation again. So from there we can first of all we have to select the source location and the destination location. So when we select source location let's say comp sets okay and the destination location will be nest okay so now when i click on start animation as you guys can see the start animation will be performed will be started and the car will be moving towards the uh, destination location okay so when the user will click on stop so now the uh, it will be stopped so now the another feature which we have is the route finder okay it will find the routes okay not only single route but but many multiple routes okay so here we select inter source location as let's say mehrban kaluni which is very near to my current location here it is okay and i will enter the destination as nest okay so here i selected nest so you as you guys can see there is the blue uh, blue <coughs> sorry uh, blue line which is the main route which we have to follow and it's the shortest route and the black line shows another route here all right 
so if we click on navigate so now the navigation will be started all right so guys this was the my app so guys if you like the app please download it and install it and tell me the reviews whether it's good or not okay so if you like the video please subscribe and allah hafiz goodbye